What's up guys, the Apple device here. Today I'll be showing you how to get Siri on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and even the iPhone 3G. Don't know if it'll work though. So, uh, and I'll be demonstrating on my iPod Touch 4, and it may even work on the iPod Touch 3G. Don't know, you guys can check it out yourself. So, what this actually does is, if you click the home button, you get Siri, but you can't exactly use it because this is step one. The developer has only released step one. I don't know when the other steps will be released, but once they're released, I'll go ahead and make a video about them. So you click on S Siri, you can't say anything, but you can click on this I, and it'll bring up all these options. You can, you can click on them, and so on. So it's step one to getting Siri. The developer made a video, but many people aren't understanding that it's the UI. It's not the whole thing. It's just one step and one thing that, that you do, you can just see it. You can't exactly do anything else. So this is step one, you guys. I'll show you guys how to get this right now. So I'll zoom in my camera. You guys need, need iPhone box, Siri, and then assistant services frameworks. And this file right here is the file that you get after you open fun, iPhone box. It just appears every single time you open iPhone box. So open iPhone box, run it. I've previously opened it because I was having a problem in opening it. It was slow for whatever reason. So go ahead after you open it, make sure your device is plugged in and jailbroken. Um, there's videos on YouTube. I haven't made a video yet on the 5.0 jailbreak, but I'll make one maybe pretty soon. So I'll be I'll be making that video once it's untethered. So click on raw files. From there, click on systems, library, and click on core services. Once you're here, click on applications, or sorry, not applications, Springboard, and go into Cydia, or Siri, sorry, and click on Springboard, just as I've done, and then copy everything in here into a Springboard app. It'll copy and it's there. Then go back once, go back twice. After that, go ahead and open private frameworks. After that's open, what you have to do is, is take assistant service frameworks, open that up. I'll go back once and just take this whole file assistant frame services frameworks after you opened it there'll be another file named exactly the same take that file and just drag and drop it in to um, private frameworks in iPhone box it'll load once it loads that's it you're done with your computer there'll be other steps I'll meet you guys on the other side with my iPhone or iPod touch sorry so guys after you you've done that what you want to do is go ahead and download iFile so to do that go ahead open up Cydia And then click on Manage, Sources, Edit, Add. And what you want to add right in here is um, iHacksRepo.com. iHacksRepo.com, just like that. So I have it added in right there, as you can see, iHacksRepo. Go ahead, click on it then. And then go to i for iFile. Scroll down until you find iFile. Right there. Click on it. Install it. Once it's installed, go ahead. Click on iFile. And you want to go back into uh, all the way back. Click on Systems, Library. Then click on Core Services. After that, you want to go ahead and if you're on the iPod Touch, search N8 N8 and it'll be right there. And if you're on the iPhone, what you have to search is N90AP. So for the iPod Touch, it's this. For the iPhone, it's it's, it's, I'll just write it out for you guys. For the iPhone, it's capital N, nine, zero, A, P. And then just like that, for the iPhone. I'll just compare it, make sure it's correct. Yes, it is. Just like that. So I'll go ahead and search the iPod Touch one since I'm on the iPod Touch. 
click on it text viewer go ahead and hit edit and then I'll show you what you I'll hit edit and then, then what you want to add is this one right here I'll highlight it the one that's highlighted you gotta add that one right there so right well no sorry it's capabilities not capabilities you will already have that it'll be right under capabilities it'll be assistant this one assistant sorry about that the assistant you gotta add it just as it, it is right there I'll go ahead and have the, in the links re description a re reference to the uh, developers write-up of all the instructions so this will be in the developers write-up so go ahead take that and type it in there once you're typed in hit save done and that's pretty much it you go ahead just respring And then you'll have Siri. There you go. So this is step one. Once the other steps come out, I'll go ahead and make another video on that, telling you guys how to do that. So guys, I'll have the, the developer's YouTube page, developer's Twitter page, and um, developer's write-up down below in the link's description. Guys, subscribe to him, follow him, and yeah, guys, check my videos out too. So rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video.